Yeah, yeah. what do you lose? Well, I find myself more and more into the years um, getting hooked to one specific song mostly for a period of a week or two. And in that period, I can listen to that song for maybe two, three hours in, during the day, sometimes even more if I'm working and I don't even listen to it. It's something that is, uh, is happening. It's, um, it's one part of our mind, of our uh, cognitive function that is uh, expanding through the, the digital easiness of loop. You are actually able to feel the, the structure of the song, for example, in a very deep and uh, biological way because at a certain point all your uh, intellectual filters go down and the, the, the thing just go into the into the amygdala part and it, it, that, that, that's that's that is where at the beginning you like that song so you're actually able to make the song arrive to the to the to the source of your um, interest for it now there is this great service that is just like you go on YouTube you choose the song that you want and you just add repeat after YouTube and before the dot com so it's YouTube dot repeat it's, dot no, com it's, re, it's YouTube repeat dot com ah, so it's okay you just add repeats at the end of YouTube and it could just go to this mirror site where it just take the file and play it into loop till till you're dead basically so when you're doing that, is it background noise or is it something you're paying attention to over and over again? It depends. It, most of the time it's background. Uh, it's not noise. It's, uh, it's like, uh, it's like uh, cocooning, you know? It's just like creating a, a, a space-time bubble where you are protected, you are surrounded by the sound that you want to hear, and you are able to focus on uh, whatever you're doing. Sixty percent of the song is based on many layers of loops, on which the the melodies is then applied. So there is already the, there is already inside the song the loop. It's a you know it's a fractal it's a, it's a fractal uh, structure. You you go from the loop within the song to looping the entire song. It, the jump is not that big. At the end. But you don't have a loop of loops. So once you once you've looped the song, do you are you done with it, or you go back to it in a fractal looping of the loop? Usually, the what loops. I do is like uh, I can go three, four days with a song. If I'm working a lot at the computer in that period, that means that I can listen to that song for five or six hours every day. That sounds like hell. That means basically that usually the moment in which I stop a loop in the middle in the in the middle of a section, that, that is when I'm, I'm saturated with it. So usually, the next day I will listen to it maybe for an half an hour, just to have a fix, but then it's gone. <laughs> and uh, I can I, probably I cannot listen to that song for a couple of years or something like that. One very important thing to say that is very important is a loop is very private. You can never share a loop. I suggest everyone to loop, to loop responsibly, <laughs> but you know, to uh, to come out, you know, like uh, don't be shy, don't be afraid, like have, have be proud of looping. It's, Looped uh, and proud. Yeah, don't 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 be afraid of telling anyone that you loop because <laughs> you're not alone. And uh, it's an important message for the exactly, youth to hear. Exactly. <laughs> so. That is something that I, I really feel we should start having a conversation about. Because um, a lot of people I discovered, they feel lonely and crazy because they look. They don't know that it's normal. And, you know, that is, that is something we, we should start taking care of. Oh, so the conversation has begun here. Thank you very much. Well, we can start again. <laughs>